Tab is here and World 3, Zone 1 is here. With that, new achievements, new items and a few new zones and one new adventure. So I'm going to tell you how to get there, uh, what they give you and all this stuff as well. So try to turn from the go to my cafe if you want to support me and let's get into it. So, first you want to get into Sab, you know, to start this and get into uh, the world uh, 3, zone 1, here in this little house on the side. Just get in there and you're, there's three main achievements you want to do. The, um, what's the word? Wasp? No, no wasp. What, is, what am I talking about? I'm just gonna go in here and show it to you. I, I'm just being stupid here. Uh, nostalgia. No. Quality testing. There we go. It's the seed quest line. Yeah, the sweet quest line that, you know, you have to get Choya seeds in order to get a Choya dictionary to talk to Choya. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cool. Uh, and honestly, it's it's kind of a, you know, it's just an achievement. It doesn't really give you anything other than being, being able to talk to Choya. But honestly, it's kind of cool because the Choya sometimes give you a bit of a um, hint on where to go for different other achievements. You can also get the Super Bowl, which I already have here, which is very, very cool, from one of the new... Look at those attacks. Huge. Uh, it actually recharges. It has it has 30 seconds cooldown. Pretty pretty interesting. And it does not use bubbles, so you can just spam it. And no, you know, you don't really have any issues with it. Uh, and, uh, you know, you get it from one of the um, shops, the new shops, right? There are three new shops, and I'll show you all of them here, of course. There's one... Uh, I'm just gonna show you right here. I'll show you later as well, but a bit of a summarize, right? There's one right there on this. There's gonna be like a water hole where you go to. There's gonna be another one in the second, well, no, in the third checkpoint, just to the right side. Pretty easy to get. And there's one hidden that I'll show you exactly where it is. There's also uh, one more thing. There's, oh, yeah, there's an adventure that, you know, I'll show you as well, uh, where you have to collect some coins, which is, you know, uh, pretty cool, pretty cute. Uh, and those are the three things, and I'm going to show you how to get all of them. Uh, it's pretty easy, but, you know, that's why I'm here to, to tell you and show you how to do it. First, we'll start with the seed questline. Seeds. These are new item. Choya seeds. A bag of seeds. Apparently, it's for a new achievement. Remember, to have, you need 500 bubbles. Even if you have the big, big bubbles, you will not be able to buy it. I have to go in there and convert it into the in, in the hub, so definitely do that before. I'm just going to buy it. I'm going to see what it gives us. So now we have seed generation on the three. Collect all the bags of choice seeds in the World 3 test zone. Well, not buy them from a traveling potion card. I'm guessing this is because they want you to show, you know, to know, you know, where you get, you know, where you get this achievement, you know, so you can start. Then unlock a chest in a secret cave. Defeat the oozes in a different secret cave. So we need to get into two secret caves. All right, we can do that. We can do that. Let's let's go. In order to get the new shop after, you know, the start of the... Uh, the start of the zone, you just go into this part of the water, you're gonna go down here, and you want to traverse through this whole space, jumping around, uh, you know, you have a big, you know, bigger jumps because you're underwater, and once you make this, you'll get into a secret shop, I actually have no idea what it has, so we're gonna find that together, I'm guessing it's gonna have the bow, because it said that it had that in the achievement, uh, or the uh, backpack, one of the two. I'm guessing it's gonna be a bit expensive. So here we go. We're gonna and top. Whoop! Just this jumping puzzle, and we're gonna travel here and find the shop. Jump here, jump here. There's the shop. Let's see what he has. Okay, so we have what is this? A green ooze, not particularly tame. Oh, you can just buy the... Oh, and the key! This is actually very useful, because we will need this to open the chest to get the new... Um, uh, you know, the chest for the achievements. Okay, we're gonna buy that. Uh, what is this? Language guide. Choya language guide. Are you allow allows you to understand the Choya. Oh! This is very useful. You don't have enough Choya seeds for that. Oh, so once you get all the Choya seeds, you'll be able to understand the Choyas that are lying around. That's awesome. All right, cool. And you also have this. No particular time. The green ooze. I don't know what this does. Oh, I guess it's just on me. I'm guessing this is going to be for an achievement. Or something. Go back into the chest that is right there. So we're going to do this little jumping puzzle. I guess, yeah, you start over here, right? Start over here. Go to the left side. Do a little bit of jumping. Right here, there we go. Pretty easy jumping puzzle here. 
on the left, on the right side of the wall. And then we're gonna make it. Here's, you know, I already opened that, as you can see, but if you use one of the bombs here, you'll be able to get in, and there's gonna be a chest, and this will give you the other part of the achievement. I already, the other I already did the other part, so now I'm gonna unlock it, and I will get the last Choya Seed. Now I can go back and buy the final, uh, the the uh, Choya, what's the word? Choya Dictionary, to talk to the Choya Miners, which I'm very curious to see what they say. From the third seed here in the second checkpoint, just before the bridge, you want to go to the left side, and it's going to be a secret cave. In the secret cave, you will be able to buy these little ooses, and the ooses, after you kill all of them, you will get this uh, specific chest that will, uh, you know, will have uh, the last seed. I'm just going to kill them just to show you. It's pretty easy. Uh, you just have to kill this stuff, you know. Just be careful not to get hit too much with them. And you'll be more than fine. There you go. Just get a bit more. Maybe this guy's over here. You have to just kill some oozes, guys. The oozes, they need to be... <coughs> Oops, sorry. Killed. And you don't die through them. And then there's... Usually you would get the seed. But I already got it, so... There's nothing here. Boom. And let's Thank see you. what he gives us. Choya language guide. All you don't understand the Choya. Yes. Boom. Well, I got it. I guess now we're gonna have to go in there and talk to a Choya. I'm just gonna kill myself uh, so I can respawn. You can just... I guess I don't think you can actually go back other than killing yourself here. Let's see what the Choya Miner says. Mining is tough gig. Gonna find enough curses for the TT. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> Someday, teeth? Something? Oh, maybe? Oh, he is missing a teeth, I guess. Some of the uh, official papers No, but it's like an there. item, is it not? Oh, I what thought, okay, you know, English might have... Might have been... Uh, Tithe. Oh, Tithe. Yeah, okay. I don't know how to pronounce oh, that. Yeah. Okay. My bad, guys, I didn't... <laughs> I, thought, getting... I thought something else. I, my bad, guys. My, my bad. Whoops. Whoopsie. Yeah, Tithe is like a donation or like a... Like oh, a... a donation. Okay, so they're talk they're working for the tyrants. Watch yourself about the deep water. If you fall, it'll be real pickled to climb up. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's true. I had to kill myself, to say. Something odd oh. about the big waterfall. My mining instincts tell me there's a passage over yonder. Oh, they help you. <gasps> so you can just jump over here. Wait, wait. What if... Oh, I got all the green bubbles. Ooh, nice. What if, though... What if... He's trolling me. What if I jump and I'll die? I feel like that's a possibility. Uh, we'll try it. You might be. We should... Okay, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. He see said he's a weird, big waterfall, so this is, must be it. <laughs> now, for this part, after, you know, we saw that I died, this guy is actually right. You can jump here. It's a bit hard. Um, you have to go through this little space here and jump right forward. Uh, you don't want to do it too, you know, you don't want to be too much on the edge or you will fail and you will hit the wall. So you want to just go a little bit here. You can dodge jump, but just like this and then you'll make it. I barely made it there, but you know, you got the point, okay? Then you just continue on doing this, uh, you know, this this little jumping puzzle is very easy. You use these crystals that are timed to get on top and you want to get to here and then this happens. All right, so the shop is right here. If you go, you know, through the waterfall and everything, you do this whole jumping puzzle onto this side after the waterfall, you'll be able to jump here. You have to do a bit of more jumping puzzle. And instead of going for the red bubble for the other achievement that we used to, that we got last year, you'll be able to get uh, this uh, shop and in this shop you'll be able to get the backpack on the uh, right side here you just go to this side instead of there and you'll be able to get it you just have to do a little you know just two a few a few jumping things and you can see the shop right on the last place here boom just get in here you're done you go in here and you can buy the backpack. Look at that. It costs 750 bubble <laughs> I don't have them well you can buy them okay you can not fuck up like I just did. And, you know, you'll be happy instead of me being sad. There you go. So, for the 
adventure achievement, you want to go here from the second checkpoint, climb up all the way up here, and jump to this uh, stone thing, and then continue over to this place. You're going to have to do a little bit of a jumping puzzle here in order to get to the next zone. It's a bit of a rough one. There's a lot going on here, but you will get an adventure, and you will get your achievement. You want to over... Uh, ideally, have uh, an add-on, uh, or be very good at dodge jumping, um, to do make big dodge jumps. So the this is, distances here are pretty high. Uh, the add-on that you get in order to get your, um, uh, in order to bind uh, your dodge jump, uh, is called Inquest Chipset in Blish HUD. It's very easy to get. You just go in here, and uh, well. Where's the modules? Module repo repository. You go in here and you ask for uh, what is it said? That I, what is that I said? That um, wait, uh, inquest. There we go. Inquest chipset, and then you can get in here and use it, and you will you can bind one key for you to instantly do a dodge jump. Uh, where's the thingy there? Inquest chipset. There you go. Yeah, there it is. Do a dodge jump. Control space. I have it like that. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Because this one in particular, very hard. You're going to have to do some other. This one is also going to be hard, but this one is more about the momentum. And you fail, like I just did. All right, I finally made it. <laughs> it took me a few tries, okay? But I made it. And now we have to jump again. And we did it again. Oh my god, this part is so hard. You're going to have to do it again. And then we did it. And this is great. Okay, perfect. Now, where's the adventure? Where is the Where is the adventure? All right guys. I think I I don't I have no way of knowing where this is. So, we're going to do a jump of faith. And if you're watching this, this is the correct place, but I don't know this. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, it does seem like there's something here. Okay. All right, yes, spider. <gasps> Gordon the Racing Choya, yes, we made it. Perfect. Okay. Now we should kill the spider. Okay, so now let's let's see this new adventure that we have. Apparently, I've heard that it's difficult, but we'll see. Coins across. Oh, you have to get. A, oh, you have to just go through. Apparently, also, guys, if you fail, it doesn't really matter. As you can just. Press the X, and that way you'll be teleported back into, uh, and start the adventure again. Apparently it's very tight though, it's, it says that it takes 10 minutes, that's kind of a, that is an insanely long jumping puzzle. I'm not sure if I'm gonna record all this, I might just skip to the end here, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. Alright, let's jump there, perfect. It's kind of straightforward. I'm not sure if this part was here back in the other release of the oh, of the World Seas World uh, Three Zone One thing. Five out of eight. Okay, that's not that long. Only been a minute. I guess I'm just super fast. I'm just too good at the game. Oh. Oh. I guess maybe it's a bit hard, but I don't actually find it particularly hard. I'm just... Uh, this is the end. There we go. Yes! And... Look at that. We have the red bubble that... Oh, I guess it was. Yeah, it was part. It was the other bubble that I just didn't get. And look at that. I got the... I got Super Adventure Box, Gold, Bronze, and Silver. And... I got everything. I guess the gold one is probably kind of... hard to get. And it's got a lot of bubbles. I wonder if this is gonna end up being a farm. Maybe. Maybe it will be. Oh, I just get it again for some reason. Okay, there we go. And more bubbles. That's nice. And there you go. Right? Yeah, the camera is off. Perfect. Okay, let's so let's see. Maybe we can check our backpack or the bow. <gasps> There's the bow! Yes! No. Bows showed multiple arms. Requires ammo. The check shopkeeper says you can have it. Well, I can talk to him by myself. Look, I have the dictionary. I'm begging you. Save my mates from the cage boss. You can take the magic bow. Oh, that's so sad. And you can also get, what is this? Piranha, just an ordinary piranha. I don't think I like that. 
Wait, what is this? What does it say? Well, I guess I need to... Well, I'm just gonna have to help him. Here you go. What's up? About 10 years ago, Lord Vanquish conquered the Choya and cast us all into servitude. Someday I'll get what he deserves, you know? <laughs> I do know. And the day is next year when we get a World uh, 2, or maybe the year after that when we get Zone 3, right? I mean, Zone 2 and Zone 3. I will be here for you. I will leverage you, Choya Miner. Okay, saving the Choya, look at them. I want to know what they're going to say, you know, once they save them. They asked me to do it, and I will. I will save them. No! Be careful. D dude, uh, this uh, usually bosses don't usually have the uses. The uses are kind of annoying, honestly. They're actually kind of unhinged. Oh my god, that hurt. Dude, what am I- Am I gonna die? 10%! Oh, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Yes! The Choya! They're free! They're free, Choya, yes! Can I talk to you guys? Hello? Choya? Are they happy? They're happy, but I can't talk to them. Oh, lucky. Well, what if I go back to this guy? Will it, you know, update and say, Thank you for saving my friends. No, they did not update. Unlucky. 